What is going on, people? We welcome you to the Ghana Art Family. It is time for evolution. And so, in today's video, I, we're going to be speaking about how awesome digital painting is. You know, so, you know, I recently, you know, in, in the past, I made a, a video uploading, you know, my first time digital painting. You can check that out. I did do a first, you know, one or two digital paintings, and I, then I stopped for a while to do something else. And now I got back into it. Now I just started, you know, learning more about. You know, learning to to draw te uh, the texture, learning how to draw, you know, bushes, grass, uh, the sky texture, making you know, making water, the, the smog texture, you know, lighting, you know, etc. Just 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 getting more and more into detail about uh, about digital painting, you know. And I gotta say, it's pretty. The, the awesome thing about digital painting is that you know, it it is is great coloring practice. Because, you know, as a traditional artist that uses copics, you know, I've been a little bit, you know, hesitant about, you know, practicing coloring with my copic markers. Just due to the fact that, you know, if I, when I'm practicing, you know, you're also wasting ink, you know, and, and a copic marker ink can get pretty expensive. So it's like there's, there's like a, a limited supply when it comes to traditional. But with, you know, digital, there's like a, you know, it's an infinite, you know, it's an infinite supply. You know, and you can, and, and it's very convenient. It's, it's like right there. All the colors that you need is like they're like right there in the software. And so, you know, as I as I'm using those colors, as I'm using those colors to you know to paint or to you know practice, you know, I see myself you know getting even better at uh, at uh, at shading or at uh, at coloring in general because, you know, I have a medium in which I can just practice. You know, and also at the same time, you're not really uh. If you make any any mistakes, if you make any mistakes, you can just like correct it and you know go go on about your way as opposed to as opposed to traditional. Uh, sometimes you you make mistakes and then it kind of kind of messes up messes it up. But, but at the same time with traditional and digital and digital, let's say if you're if you're doing a, a traditional art uh, and, and you make a mistake, you know this little smudge here and there, you know you can fix it up in 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 uh in in, in in photoshop you know you can fix it up in photoshop if you make a you know, just a minor mistake when it comes to uh, when it comes to traditional painting you can just fix it up digitally you know but you know at the same time i like how fast and convenient you know fixing your mistakes are with with, with digital you know and it also the, the fact that it's fast and convenient it also makes it so that you don't break out of the flow you don't break out of your your focus or your study flow when you make a mistake. When you make a mistake, you're not like, uh, you know, you're not you're not freezing or pausing. You just you know, let me just use this or uh, this eraser tool at the side here, and then it'll just just fix up and da da and it, perfect. It's good. It's good. And then you could just you know just just continue on with the artwork. You know that's that's something I, I do enjoy, and it's also great for practice. Actually, it's very great for practice. It's great for for coloring practice. You know. So, so for anyone that, that, that wants to, you know, practice coloring and they don't want to, you know, use their traditional, you know, they, they want to like experiment free with, with, with coloring and, you know, they don't want to use like traditional mediums. You know, I think digital painting would be great for you, you know, you know, so. So yeah, I, re I remember in the past, I was a, a little bit hesitant on it, you know? And also at the same time, I didn't really have a, have a, I didn't have a tablet at the time, you know, a drawing tablet at the time. So me having a drawing tablet made me want to, you know, you know, just experience or, you know, just experiment with, you know, with coloring more, with, with drawing on the tablet more. And, and as I got used to drawing on the tablet more, you know, I wanted to go into detail about, you know, changing my medium. You know, because I won't, I won't, I won't, uh, I won't like completely ditch traditional art because I do prefer traditional art. There's, there are some aspects of, the, of traditional art that I do, that I do enjoy as opposed to, you know, you know, digital art, you know, they, they both have their, their pros and cons to them, you know, but, but I'm, I'm more so aligned with, with the traditional aspect, you know, but I also would like to learn about digital aspect because I've seen some very, I've seen some some amazing artworks that people have done with with digital and that makes me want to like you know you know let me let me grab that medium as well let me let me learn about 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 that uh, medium as well as well let me like dive into it and in, into that you know 
and also it becomes so it, it becomes so convenient because like when you when you're doing digital, digital painting like there's there's brushes there's, there's like a list of them. there's like thousands and thousands of different you know custom brushes to use you know so for example there's a brush for hair there's there are great brushes for hair you know there there's great there's a great brush for for clouds there's a, there's a, there's a brush for for coloring for drawing water you know so it's kind of like for what with, 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 with digital it, it 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 does the work for you not not exactly does does the work for you but it kind of I don't know how to explain it, but it, I guess semi does the work for you, because because like because of the brush presets, they they make it so that you know, you know, hair looks like 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 if if you're using a hairbrush, you know, and you're and you and, and you're doing digital coloring, is going to look like hair, you know. So however, compared to if you were going to draw hair, you know, in traditional, there's going to be a lot more work for you to do to get that 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 uh, that texture going. With, with hair but with with digital you have a you have a brush preset there it's just it's there for you already the, the only thing that you have to like understand is just knowing you know basic the basic lighting basic shading and and you're good because of the brush the brush presets for these for these items they're are they're already there and you know and also understanding how like the environment works you know, understanding, you know, just, you know, lights, shadow, shade, you know, the drawing fundamentals. But other than that, you know, the, like, the, the preset there, it, it's just, it's just there. It, it exists there and you can use it and it makes it much more easier for you to, to come up with very amazing looking artwork with those, with those brush presets, you know. But you also don't want to, like, you know, 100% like, uh, you know, don't don't one hundred percent like rely on the on the brush preset to improve. Again, it's the artist, it's the artist that makes the uh, the artwork, not the tools. But the brush presets that they that that digital that digital art does have makes it a lot uh, easier for you to create. You know, amazing uh, artwork. And so, when I used to be more active with my commission work, one thing I've noticed is that a lot of clients love uh, digital painting uh, specifically digital painting you know I and I and I and I see that a lot a lot of people love love digital painting you know and some of them also love love uh, traditional painting but but mainly mainly uh, digital painting you know and something I've noticed is that since since they like you know more clients or uh, more clients appeal to digital painting I think that uh, it's, it's best to to understand you know digital painting because it'll also help the artists because you know it's more convenient for you you know if, if you're if you're doing traditional you know it, it takes a lot more focus for for that you know it takes a lot more time but uh, digital painting it's more more so free flowing and even if you make a mistake <clears throat> even if you make a mistake it's it's it doesn't really uh, really goes hard on the consequences it doesn't stop the flow or anything you know it's just convenient it's just is everything all the tools are just right there you know and and also yeah, since all the tools are like right there so it'll be a lot more easy you know the only thing the only thing is if you're a traditional artist or you're yeah you're you're traditional you know is it, is like just transitioning from traditional to drawing on on the tablet or having getting a drawing tablet and just you know just just practicing and, and the more the more you're doing it again the more it becomes easy for you to 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 execute you know and as it becomes easy for you to execute uh and since a lot of clients do love digital painting uh it's, it's great it's a great way to keep on producing that uh, that income if you may you know so so that's also a good uh, positive for digital painting. And so yeah, I'm still I'm still learning the digital painting medium. You know, there's a lot more to learn for with with uh, with digital painting. Uh, I've seen I've seen a lot of amazing uh, artworks.
from uh, from people that have created you know this digital painting. It's just it's just been it's just like it's mind boggling. You know, makes you makes you wonder how they do that. What kind of what kind of effects do they use? You know, what kind of what kind of digital painting techniques do they use, etc. You know, sometimes you want to know like the brush the brush style that they use. Sometimes artists have like these custom brushes. And, and, and in order to make these custom brushes, they, they probably know the, the inner workings of like the brush preset, the, the details of that when it comes to, to when it comes to Photoshop. But uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot to learn about the digital painting. You know, it's, it's like a, it's like a, yeah, it is a, it's a whole new medium. You know, so, so yeah, if you're ever you know interested in getting into in, into uh, di digital uh, painting. Uh, yeah, I guess this is a video for you. Hope this convinced you, you know. But it, it's pretty awesome, you know. I won't, I won't leave. I won't leave traditional, like I said again. Uh, traditional, both traditional and digital, both have their pros and cons. I do like the way traditional looks more compared to, to compared to digital, you know. But uh, but yeah, it's, it's good as an artist to 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 to, to experience different uh, mediums, you know. I might go to I might go into watercolor next. But uh, at the moment, I'm just gonna like uh, just increase and harness my Copic marker and, and, and digital skill sets, you know. So yeah, that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you uh, like the video, uh, like, subscribe, yeah, and uh, comment um, and tell what you think about the video. Um, and yeah, yeah, peace, peace.